Last time we've built the two floor panels for our DIY pet bunny hutch and today we want to finish the whole thing off. Enjoy! To later join our floors to the wall I marked 45 degree angles and then went over to my miter saw to cut the corners off of my floor panels. After that, I did some pre-sanding to get rid of all the glue marks. Next, I cut the parts for the two doors to size and also prepared the miter joints. The doors will be sealed off with wires later and I thought it would be nice to have them flush with the wood, so I proceeded to cut some grooves on my router table. Fitting in just perfectly. Nice. Back at home it was time for the glue up of the doors. And once that was cured I stapled the wires to the frame. Now for the bars that make up the walls. Those need to be joined with the floor panels, so I got creative here and went with some weird kind of mitered dado joint. No idea if there's a proper name for this kind of joinery, so if you know more, please leave some comments down below. The middle support pieces will be joined with some kind of crossing dados. I then cut those dados into the floor panels too, right at the centers of the longer sides. Over at my bend saw I then cut out all the marked sections. Looking pretty fine. Same with the cross dados. Then I cut an entry hole for the second floor in the most efficient way possible. And when the next day rolled around I created a frame that will hold up the upper floor bars together. These will be connected to grooves by doing a simple glue up, so I went over to my router table and cut them in. And then I got a perfect snug fit. Now was time for the final glue up. Attaching the first floor to the bus first. Then the second floor. And last but not least the upper entrance. Once the glue had cured, I attached the doors accordingly. And if you are wondering what that thing down there is supposed to be, here's a montage of me creating a little staircase into the hut. Now it was time to go for the last few minor details in sanding. Attaching all the wired walls. Cutting hemp mats to size and building a small staircase into the upper floor. And then I was finally done.
for them to celebrate that they arrived at their new home, I got a little um, vegetable cake for them. So yeah, have a good one. Hope you like it. Case closed. Now, I have to admit that it turned out very nicely for my first own bigger project. No screws or nails needed whatsoever. Only some glue and nifty joinery. I hope you did enjoy the video and if you did, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. And now you can enjoy watching the bunnies exploring their new home. See ya!